How are you doing? Um, how about you, sir? Mark O'Connor. I'm from Boston, Mass. Boston? Dorchester. I won't waste any more time. Okay. Uh, Congressman Markey, I'm glad that you're here. Uh, I think the main focus of this dish of uh, our meeting here is the issue of impeachment, and I would like to encourage people to try and uh, bring up topics related to that. We're presently spending $500,000 a minute in Iraq. Um, the main reason why we went to uh, Afghanistan and Iraq is mainly the war on terror. Um, the, uh, the voting machines are an issue. Um, I'd just like to address a bunch of uh, reasons of why we should all support impeachment. Um, and uh, also, 9-11 was uh, mainly the reason why we went to Afghanistan. Uh, the FBI's, uh, well, the uh, Bin Laden family was flown out of the United States when all the planes were grounded. That's a, a, a question. What's your question? That, uh, okay, I'm sorry, I'm getting a little sidetracked. Um, the 9-11 Commission Report, uh, Thomas Keene and Lee Hamilton, the, the chair and co-chair of the 9-11 Commission Report, uh, stated in a uh, op-ed piece in the New York Times that they were repeatedly stonewalled by the uh, CIA. Um, and CNN has also reported recently that there were 935 lies since 9-11-01 uh, regarding uh, weapons of mass destruction and lies about uh, Iraq. Um, let's see. Uh, well, uh, the, uh, the people in New York have put, put a uh, um, ballot question. All right. Yes, I'm sorry. A ballot question to uh, have a new 9-11 commission report that is impartial and it's not stonewalled by the CIA, FBI, or any other government agency. And uh, I'm wondering why is it Hillary Clinton and Obama and a lot of these uh, presidents potential presidents aren't uh, addressing these issues uh, that we've been lied to about. Um, even uh, World Trade 7, a 47-story building that uh, fell at free fall speed. I told you I work for a structural engineering okay, department. Let me, let me, okay, and uh, it's nearly okay, impossible for fire to bring down. It. it is uh, impossible thank for you, fire to bring thank down a building thank you. at free fall That's speed. That's right. Woo! Let me just post the audience what's, you know, we're now two and a half hours or so into this discussion. <laughs> uh, this is kind of a choice, uh, just for this audience, it's not necessarily representative of all of Framingham, but I'd like to just get a show of hands here. Um, that is the, the question of how many people want us to spend this year impeaching President Bush, and, and how many of us, would, how many would rather censure him and then move on to the rest of the agenda this year? So first, how many would support impeachment? And how many would support uh, censoring and moving on? Uh -huh. So that and, that, and the point is, is that just the point is that's why we're here. We're here to discuss that. And the people who are saying education and energy policy and FISA, they're saying work on that. And other people are saying work on impeachment. So that's why we're here. It's not the subject actually implicates a whole bunch of other subjects uh, once you decide that you're going to uh, have that impeachment proceeding. In answer to your question, sir. Uh, after the Democrats won the House and the Senate in November of 2006, you could hear all across Washington the low drone of shredding machines in agencies and, and private sector firms that had a very close relationship with the Bush administration and the Republican Congress, trying to destroy documents. So what's going to happen when Barack Obama or Hillary Clinton um, uh, is sworn in as president, is we're going to have an administration that will work with the Congress to put all of that information out on the table. Every bit of, every document. You won't need a nine, another 9-11 commission uh, because you're going to have a president who will be answering the questions of the Democratic Congress as to what happened. And, and that will and that will be a, that will be a clarifying that will be a, that will be a clarifying moment in um, in American history, uh, which is now five years overdue. Uh, but a large part of this election, I think, is driven by the desire of the American people to find out whether or not we went to war on false pretenses. And 
either Hillary Clinton or Barack Obama in coordination with a Democratic president is going to get that answer. Now I have to, I've already, you've already asked the question, so let me, let me, uh, let me ask, let, let this woman in.